All right, so day 17, continuing on. And without further, without really further ado, let's just continue on with the video. Now, this one's gonna be a little bit more different. Now, first of all, again, unfortunately, kind of the same theme with this fucking daily upload. I haven't been able to really capture a photo today. But, eh, how can I say this? Time, maybe. Maybe just by pure laziness. Again, work, as with many things, is getting kind of out of hand. But, I don't think it's going to be a little bit underwhelming at this point. Because this photo was a photo I took months ago. But this is kind of experimenting what I told, what my first goal was as far as taking interest in photos because if we look here this was my attempt with long exposure one this one morning now granted i didn't quite do a fairly good job as we see here with the with the cars because i didn't have a tripod this at this time or i didn't bring a tripod for this for this case so i wouldn't say it's lackluster because this because long exposure was one of the examples I put for interest in slash better photos. So again, I wouldn't say really that oh it's unfortunate, but at the same time, like I've been saying, you know that doesn't excuse on the fact that I'm just kind of being I'm slacking off as far as. Um, what I need to do and what I need to accomplish. Uh, like I said, like I stated, unfortunate, but as I kind of, I think I've already stated this, especially last video, as I continuing on, especially in this period that I'm just daily uploading, I see that, I see that in a way more and more it gives me more of an opportunity to to kind of see what I have on my memory cards and then use those and utilize those pictures instead of taking new ones. Now, don't get me wrong, new ones are always good and all, but like I've stated, having roughly, I don't know what's the actual number, but roughly 1,300 photos on a memory card and you don't even use roughly, what, 20 of them? Uh, yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't be too happy about about that, considering the fact that uh, not that it's drained up much of my memory card, but it's it's getting there. So again, as I continue on, especially right now during this period that I'm daily uploading, like I've stated, it may on one side it's unfortunate I'm not going out to take better photos, but at the other at the other hand, it's also kind of not because that way here it it's it kind of gives the opportunity for me to look back on my previous photos and see which photos I can I can use to to edit and to make um a part of the the journey right so that's personally for me how I'm I see it currently right now but I'm sure many may have different opinions which I don't I don't blame them I really don't blame them I've already made some minor adjustments here. My goal with this photo would be to kind of, I don't know, kind of keep it maybe somewhat black, but at the same time, we'll do some minor adjustments. What I am probably gonna do is as far as probably color grade the 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 cars here with the, with the lights and the brake lights. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure because again, I didn't look at any tutorials. I'm going in here in a way kind of blindly, but that's that's kind of personally how I how I have it now. I, I guess you could make the argument that as to why I'm going in blindly in what way, shape or form as in, you know, like when I look at tutorials, it kind of gives me an idea to to what to, you know, to kind of what to expect, right? But in a way, I also kind of like going in blindly, just so I can be a little bit more creative, if that makes sense. Because, like I've stated previously, this this whole Lightroom editing process that I'm doing, it's not really just a one set in stone standard across all 
photos. It's really just personal preference, really. So you can make it however you want it, and that's uh, that's kind of the, the the beauty of it. Everyone has their own technique, their own style, as to you know make uh, or edit in a photo. So that's that's the that's the good part of it. At least that's how personally I see it. Oh, what the fuck did I do now? Okay. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but anyways, so I've kind of already, like I've stated, I'm trying to keep this photo relatively black, but at the same time, not trying to overexpose it because it, I don't know what was happening. I don't know if it was because um, there was a chain link fence here, but if I were to expose the, the photo, you would see, I think, portions of the chain link fence. And personally, for me, that's something I... I don't want to show as far as for this photo, so I'm just going to try to keep it hidden to the best of my ability, but uh, that's going to be kind of interesting. How am I going to do that? Uh, maybe we have a vibrance as I'm looking at it. Um, yeah, I'm going to raise it up just a slightly saturation. Probably not, although may not be a bad idea. Just a slight increase with saturation. Okay, so with that, I think basic... That should be good enough if we hide it. Okay, yeah, I already kind of like that. Already just off the bat with just basic, I already like that. Now if we were to go to our tone curve here. Again, my goal here is just trying to, trying to make the photo just in a right balance between exposed, underexposed, keep, but mostly my goal is to try to hide this chain link fence here. That's the really goal. My my that's really my in a way top goal for the photo. As far as really what my direction with this photo, it's uh it's questionable. It's up in the air. I really kind of don't have it set in stone really at the moment, which may be a bad thing. But I'm sure as I as I go along with the with the photo, I'm sure I'll think of something. But as I actually adjust these settings just ever so slightly, I see that what I wanted okay I see that I don't think this photo is gonna need much change really because since it's already I don't know since it was already kind of already in a way underexposed to begin with I'm just doing some minor adjustments refinements really that's all what I'm really doing as I'm seeing this Actually, I actually like how, personally for me, this tone curve, again, has been by far one of my most favorite tools to use now for Lightroom, even though I may not know much, I'm, or I'm in the process of learning as much as I can, as far as with the tone curve. I don't know, almost every single time I use it, it just, I don't know, for me personally, just makes the photo in some way, shape or form like better, because beforehand, it was all right, but it just gave that that vintage style look in a way. I don't know. I may just be looking at it wrong, but that's that's how personally I look at it, and I I actually like it. Now, we're actually gonna try to do something with this. I've, I have stated previously that I try my best to not to not touch red, green, and the blues here as far as the tone curve, but maybe and just maybe i might just do some little adjustments like right now as it is you see because i didn't expect i didn't expect it to, to for me to like how this looks so it again just very small refinements as refinements is that a word adjustments i'm just going to call it adjustments just small adjustments I'm I'm gonna be doing. Again, I'm still gonna color grade it to my to the best of my ability. But um yeah that's really how it goes. So now now we kinda got something. Okay, yeah, uh yeah. Person I actually really like that. But as far as with tone curve with 
first time actually now using the red portion or the red panel. I actually turned, I actually really liked how it turned out. I don't want to praise myself already, but damn, I actually like how that came out. Damn, all right, so that just got me a little, I don't know, excited in a way, but I, I actually like how that came out. Anyways, with color mixer, what would I want to change? I already know off the bat we're going to probably be using red, orange, possibly maybe yellow, maybe even a hint of aqua and blue maybe even green so as far as with red we're we're probably going to be just yeah just affecting the yeah you know what red i actually like how it came out with saturation so we'll leave that okay i wouldn't want to do it too much but just a little red as well just a little red especially for on this side on the side, maybe just a just a slight increase in hue. Okay, well, just maybe also a slight increase. I don't want to go too overboard with it. Okay, I just wish that this could have all came out in one solid line. That way here, this could have been a probably even a better photo. But uh, it is what it is. I didn't have a tripod. I think I used a rock as my tripod, but can't do nothing about it it's it's done and it's over with but we as i'm attempting right now we try to we try to work with what we got here so this orange i think it's going to be affecting the lights here so if we were to okay yeah now if we were to put this if i were to put this back to zero that's how it would look like if we were we were to raise up the saturation maybe okay I didn't realize it affects kind of both sides so since in a way I don't know personally it the the orange here as for the Sun uh, or for the lights kind of adds on to that vintage look we're gonna pro I'm not gonna decrease it because I don't want to lose that but we're probably gonna just slightly increase it that way here it kind of shows more uh more orange here as far as with the lights and even adds in more color to the to the brake lights here probably the same thing will be for luminance although luminance we can yeah if we okay so yeah maybe just a slight increase i don't want to go too overboard so we're probably just us actually no believe it or not we'll go for a decrease we'll go for a decrease if I need to come back and change it then I will as far as with hue probably yeah just a very slight increase because already how it came out naturally I already kind of like how that was with yellow okay this this yellow is where we would affect the the light um, just the lid portion in a way so we would want to make this what what would go good with this would it go good if i try to match it with this side it'd be questionable okay personally how the photo is looking like maybe because i can actually start to see that it's starting to have a little bit more green towards the photo so maybe if we increased it a little bit towards the Increased a little bit of the hue. If you can see kind of heading towards where the green is, maybe that will make it a little bit better. Personally, I like how it is right now, so we'll keep it like that. With green, would be just some small portions here, maybe just some minor adjustments, especially I see from right here. I see it right there. Yeah, if we try to do our best as to try to match up with the with the light here as much as possible yeah okay well I don't know what was done but I like how we made this lid portion a little bit more greener kind of fit fit in the more the whole photo together because 
if we look at it previously it it looked kind of off so now as far as with now it looks kind of better now as far as with this green i'm just gonna probably leave it as it was just not even touching i don't see much of a difference to begin with so that's what i'm just gonna be doing oh shit that's what i get for not looking at my keyboard with this aqua i'm sure we're gonna be now affecting the 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 kind of the whole photo so or believe it or not okay we're just gonna leave that be then i don't see no difference hey with the blue with the lights but to be honest i like how the lights look so everything else we're gonna keep it the same again if we need to come back and change it then we'll come back i want to leave i want to leave the color grade in last as far as with masking i don't think masking will also be needed here since the grand majority of it will is already kind of done right but before i get into it let's just do a quick before what the fuck what the fuck dude i have never seen much a bigger change from a photo that was taken that was uh, that on its original format raw I have never seen a bigger change and quite honestly I have never seen it probably change for the better personally speaking this the way how it's turning out this may be probably my favorite photo that I've edited all time right now although it's not really much to brag about I mean I'm sure anyone could do this but you know me right but anyways now we might actually be done believe it or not as far as with everything else i don't think much should be done because i already kind of like how it came out but the last probably the last step we'll do will be the color grading although yeah i'm kind of questioning how that's gonna affect the photo now if we made it this good before color color grading it's just um i don't know color grading has me a little worried for some reason although as i look at it i shouldn't be worried about it because i might i may just probably step this up in a on another level maybe who knows or i may just fuck it up but let's see obviously since we kind of have the theme going i'm going to try to push it towards the cooler side so we're gonna i need to find a balance a right a right color here so I'm gonna do that while at the same time not trying to fuck up the the way how we previously had it before color grading. Okay, okay, I took some time now. I really had to think about this, but more looking at it, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is with with this. I got a I got it a pretty good balance, like I've stated. I got a good balance between both how it was originally before color grading which is that although it may be hard for you guys to look at the difference but i'm also comparing it how it was on its raw format and i think i think i like it so as it stands right now we're gonna leave it as that although i'm really happy that i, I tried my best not to fuck it up because i was oof man i was going back and forth between if I'm making it better or worse, but I think, I think I I got a good balance of it, so we're gonna we're gonna leave it as that now. As far as with these midtone shadows and highlights, I don't know what's really gonna be done. I really don't know what else you could add. As far as you know, with this photo, because I've already kind of added, or I've already kind of. I've already kind of adjusted these, especially on the tone curve. Again, we've already, we've done it for the first time, adjusting the tone curve on the reds. So maybe this, maybe this whole color grading section isn't actually necessary. Although I'm just going to do it just in case, or just for the, really the sake of it. So I'm, um, again, okay, with highlights, what, what do I see different? Or I'm sorry, with midtones, what do I see different if I put it towards the green? Okay, I'm affecting the, the light here. I need to really think about 
this not just i i thought it was just gonna be the global no i really gotta be careful about the whole fucking color grading section because i could fuck it up so i really really gotta be careful with this okay i think actually believe it or not i think that how i have it like that towards a little bit of the on the yellow side i don't think that i don't think that um makes the photo any worse so i think we're gonna leave it like that. Now, as far as with highlights, let's see. Before before I make any changes, let's zoom out and see what what we're affecting, which is probably gonna be the the lights. But okay, I thought so. Believe it or not, I think with this, it would honestly be better if we were to just leave it as. Well, anyways, because uh, again, I've already made. I would say at this point, dramatic adjustments before color grading. Color grading is just really, it's not really how it, I used to take it back then. Now for this video in particular, it's kind of very, very, very subtle adjustments that you guys may not really care and probably not even for me, but it's just for the sake also for more practice, right? As far as with shadows, okay, I'm going to be affecting the whole photo. Okay. Again, I had to really think and elaborate before um, doing any changes with the shadows because as, as we can see, shadows is really affecting all the black portions of the, of the photo, which is basically the whole photo. So I had to, again, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's very, very subtle. I mean, just, it's like if I've never done really anything, but it's making the whole photo just a slight tint bluer in some way. Again, I, I had to go back and forth as far as am I making it better or worse, but I'm also trying to imagine it as the photo as itself as a whole. And personally, I think I like how this is. So we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it like this. Okay. Believe it or not. I think that's all the changes that we're going to do. So if we just do a quick before, again, I just keep on looking back at it. I just can't even imagine how this looked. I thought this was all right. I didn't even, <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even think this was even possible by me. Damn, it looks like I didn't even, I didn't even fucking edit this photo. So as I look at this, I actually personally really like how it came out. I wasn't even expecting for me to do a, I was expecting me to do a half-assed job with this, but I personally like how it really, really came out. So I'm actually really happy with that. But yeah, I mean, as far as with this photo, I, I don't think I can do really much with it. I, and personally, I don't want to touch more on it. So yeah, that as far as with editing or making any adjustments, that would really conclude all of it. Now, what well, was this? A mix of good and bad and when I mean as that I mean sure yes like I'm saying I'm, I'm not following or I'm not following up following up with these goals that I've made but at the same time I kind of learn under kind of understanding and I'm practicing Lightroom I'm experimenting with an already used photo that I was in a way experimenting and personally like I've stated this may already be my all-time favorite edit I've done. It may be just something simple as this, right? Is it something to really brag about? Not really, I'm, I'm sure. But again, personally for me as it stands, I, I really like how, I really liked how it came out. And I don't, I'm sure for some photos, I can't say, I can't say that, especially at this portion of the video because I may have some mixed feelings, no. I personally 100% actually liked how this came out after all the edits I've made on it. Like I've stated, was is that the case for some other photos? And again, questionable, but this one for damn sure is one that really impressed me. Impressed me as I was at. I wasn't really much paying attention to the edits I was doing as I was going along, but just looking back before and after, I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm, 
I would honestly say that I'm just really happy with myself that that's a photo that I edited. So I'm I'm very stoked about that. But like I've stated, it's a weird it's a, it's a weird process. It's a weird period right now in this journey because I'm in the balance between feeling good about myself, but at the same time not. But at the same time I am, because again these goals that I've set myself on day ten. And then we're seven days in. I'm not fulfilling in a way these goals. But at the same time, I am. It's it's confusing. It's very confusing how it is. I, and I quite frankly don't know how to explain it. But I'm a, all I'm saying is that in this period of daily uploading in a way, it's a very weird process or a very weird period in this journey. But I'm, can I complain? Am I complaining? I mean, not really. I'm sure as far as with you guys and en enjoying this content, hopefully. I'm sure if, of course, if you guys are really interested in this, I'm sure you guys are happy that I'm up, that I'm upload uploading daily. So that's the good thing. But, you know, it's, it's, it's something that I just constantly, constantly, every day as day and day passes by, it's just something that I just keep on you know, I just keep on remembering to myself, like, okay, you're, you're failing in a way, you're failing at this, but then you're exceeding in this, right? I, I, again, I don't really know how to explain it. But anyways, just disregarding about that, as far as with this picture, I can't say it as many times. I can't, I can't stop saying it, but this came out really good, and I personally... I personally enjoyed and really liked how this photo came out and I'm actually really happy and I'm just excited to publish this onto my Instagram so everyone can see. But with that being said, that concludes day 17 of this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try my best as far as for hopefully day 18 next video. I'm going to try my best to at least take a photo that same day although i'm not i'm not gonna i can't guarantee it i really can't guarantee it because again scheduling time management this i'm gonna try my best but i can't guarantee it but i'm sure like i've stated if i can't take a picture i'm sure just going through my memory cards i'm sure i'll find one photo to edit on and in this case as it stands right now, this photo that again previously had was an okay photo turned out to be one of my all-time favorite to um, photos that I've edited so far in this journey. So, you know, photos like that can can appear once in a while in my memory cards. They're, they're just stored away and just haven't seen the, the light of day as far as for right now. But yeah, that concludes day 17. And I'll see you guys in the next video.